be stupid. It's M for margarine. Mm. At the end of last week's exciting episode, Detective Inspector Foote was about to begin questioning Fingers King, his prime suspect in the Dogger Bank robbery. Come on, Fingers. There's no smoke without fire. It's only a matter of time before you break. No. You've got the wrong man this time, Mr. Foote. You're miles off. I've got an alibi for Tuesday morning. I'm not worried about Tuesday morning's alibi. She'd lie her mouth off to save you. What I want... What is it now, Constable? Why? Why what? Well, my car's in the door, sir. Is it dangerous? I mean, is it going to try anything? It does in the room, sir. Do I get it in an arm lock or a yale lock? Or well, I wonder why there's a crime wave. Now, look, Rigby. Sir? You are guarding that little door to this little interrogation room. Sir? The room in which we are now in. Sir? You are guarding that door, Rigby, in case Fingers here tries to make a bolt for it. Got it? Sir. Now, Fingers, the way I got it figured, you used four accomplices and a getaway trawler. <coughs> that be... <coughs> Inspector... Constable Rigby. It's already got a bolt on it, sir. I'm aware of that, Rigby. Look, you're guarding the door in case me ladder here... In case I make a break Wait, for it. Wait, let me put it another way. Shut up, Fingers. Stand to my attention. Shut sure. You are guarding that door in case Fingers here tries to escape through it. Do you understand? Right. So you really want me to guard him and not the door of... Shut up, Rigby. Now, oh, Fingers, what's really got me baffled is how you didn't realise that the local bobbies would think it fishy that three shoals of heading should all disappear at once. I, yeah. Shut up, Rigby! And guard, guard the, the door! door sir. Yes. And for what? I don't know. I'm mystified. Hello and welcome to another chance to play It's a Mystery, the quiz show where our contestants have to guess the answers to questions we're not going to ask them. So let's start straight away and meet our first contestant. And your name, sir, is... Ah, oh, no, you can't catch me out like that right now. I know the answer to this one. It's Richard. Uh, uh, Richard Burton. Oh, no, his name is John Collier. Still, never mind. It's early in the show, so let's meet. Mrs. Sandra Norris from Minchinampton. I'm a school teacher and I'm married with two children. 1896 at the Battle of Omdurman. Oh, Super Song, absolutely correct. That puts you 10 points in the lead. So, without further ado, let's meet our third contestant on It's a Mystery. And your name, sir, is. <laughs> Have to hurry you, no, sir. No, no. <gasps> Napoleon! Oh, not tonight, Napoleon. Oh, sorry about that. Still, he was a trifle late. Never mind. Perhaps he'll do better on round two of It's a Mystery. Contestants. Guess tonight's mystery object. Mm. Yep. You are pleased having any seats left on today's special excursion? You mean a ten fifteen mystery tour, sir? Yes. That is the one. The mystery special. How many would you like, sir? Seven. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. You had better make that six. Anderson! Anderson, this is the police. You are totally surrounded. Now give yourself up, Henderson, before it's too late. Oh, come off here. I've known you for years. You can't fool me, Tony. Gladys Stop being stupid, Henderson. There are hundreds of armed police ringing the building. Oh, we haven't got a phone. Don't be a fool, lad. Don't throw your life away. Now, come on, throw the gun out. Oh, we haven't got a gun either. Will a red knife do? No. What is it, Rigby? Inspector Foot. She's right. Just came through on the blower. Henderson gave himself up in Fleetwood an hour ago. That really is bloody sore and sure. Put your foot in it now, haven't you, Inspector Foot? <laughs> All right, Honor and Shaw. This is the 
police. You are totally surrounded. Now, put your hands on your head and come out with your knitting in the air. It's time you learn it's an offence to impersonate somebody what you are not. You'll never take me alive, Cooper! There you are. We can have her for wasting police time by resembling a well-known criminal. All you need to know to get on in this job, Rigby, is how to communicate with people. That's amazing, sir. Incredible. Rigby, you are a non-abominable... -ab Abominable. Right. <laughs> Swing that package! Oh, Nancy, it's a mystery to me how you managed to get your family so, so clean. It's a lot harder to change your spare penguin than I thought. Oh, Nancy, what on earth am I going to do? I'll never get those chocolate seeds out with the ordinary powder that I use. Oh, don't you fret, Bert. I've got the answer right here in my bag. That's simply amazing, Nancy. What did you have in your bag? <laughs> a brand new set of clothes. Whenever my family's clothes get dirty, I never bother to wash them. I just give them the elbow. Really great, Nancy. I'll never do anything else but that from now on. Oh, thanks, Nance. You really cleaned up a mystery for me. Okay, my darling, just a little bit closer down here. That sounds so. No, 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 that's it. Well, congratulations, Sandra. I bet you're just dying to know what you want on It's a Mystery. Oh, yes, Roy. I can't wait. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to because we give nothing away on It's a Mystery except to say that we'll be back same time, same place next week. So until then, bye oh, for now. Stop fluffy toy. Stop your fluffy toy. <laughs> oh! Oh! I will now fling myself into a trance until I am communicate with a running nose, my medicine Indian guy. Now, if you would all help me by concentrating on the spirits. Ah, that's the best idea she's had all night. I'll have a double brandy old thing, you eh? Well, really, Uncle, do be quiet. You'll ruin the atmosphere. I haven't had a curry all week. Hello, is right, Major. If you disturb Mrs. Throttle while she's in a trance, the results could be quite catastrophic. Oh, is that your running nose? Good grief. No girl's best. Yeah. She's making contact. What? Listen, you don't have to marry that little twerp, you know, not if you don't want to. It reminds me of a Sikh rifleman we once had in Pune. Ate a cricket ball, thought it was an apple. <laughs> Spent the next three weeks hurling himself at Carruthers, our opening bat. <laughs> oh, I see him. He comes. How? Who summons runny nose, medicine man of the cold feet? We, a oh, wise one. I sent someone new in our circle tonight. Someone who does not believe in the afterlife. This could make communication a bit dodgy. What did he say? Yes, thank you. Uh, much better since I've been taking the vitamin C. Good eye. My name's Detective Sergeant Bluey Hills of the Melbourne Police. You've probably seen my shine TV. Anyway. The reason I'm here is because I've solved more mysteries in Australian TV than Chris Cobb's whiplash and a flying doctor put together. So, when I heard that some group called Ali Barber and his 40 lost paratroopers were doing a number called Bluey, I came to investigate. Got 
Big pop, 